Good day fish tankers. Originally I didn't think of doing a video like this because many people have done it but then I thought maybe I should do it because these are two products I've used over the long term and I have experience with them and I'm not sponsored by either company which many YouTubers, not all YouTubers are. So at the moment since I'm not sponsored and I'm a tiny YouTube channel I thought let me get this done and uh, let me try and add something positive to the debate that every now and then pops up on our Facebook and WhatsApp groups and do this because it's about these two hang on back filters. We all know hang on back filters, why we like them, they're easy to maintain, they're unobtrusive behind the back of a tank and they also give you a wide media choice and when you talk hang on back filters there are two basically, the one is this one if you haven't seen this one, you haven't been in Wabi long, it's an old stalwart of Wabi, it's been along for many many years and that is of course the AquaClear and I've used these for many many years in the past, it's been lying in my garage and then more recently, but it's now been over a year since I've been running this one, so that's also long term, is this one, the new kid on the block and that's of course the Seachem Tidal Hang On Back. Now there are people that say this is absolute rubbish, there are people that absolutely love them and uh, there are people that prefer the old AquaClears. Now what did I find through using them? Are you interested in finding out? Stick around. Okay guys, both these filters essentially do the same thing albeit in different ways. It hangs on the back of a tank, you have a little adjustment thing here with the AquaClear have a little screw there that keeps it level, you mustn't, mustn't lie like that, like that on the back of a glass and it's got a pump in the, in the, in the case of AquaClear, sucks water out of a tank and passes it through the media that sits in here and you can have a wide variety of media. Now this is the old AquaClear and what was nice about these is they're an old stalwart of Arby, they just keep going and going and going and they are relatively easy to clean, you just pick up a media basket like that and you put it in a bucket, clean it in old tank water and you put it back. That's for AquaClear and then along came this one, the Seachem Tidal. There are different sizes and it also has a media basket. Like you can see this one's in use at the moment, the media is lying in an old bucket of tank water. It's been going for more than a year in my 75 gallon and uh, you can see it's got a media basket, the media is lying in the tank water and there's a sponge usually at the bottom, a coarse sponge and then a media bag with some biomedia and in, in this case Seachem Matrix but you can add anything into it. Now the, this one to clean it you move a clip back and you take out this media container and then it slots into the lid. Oh, I never really even use this feature but it slots into the lid like that so with, you can clean it very quickly and with a minimum amount of mess and fuss and it's a very feature rich filter so it started off with a huge amount of hype and you can understand it because besides the, the media basket that you just clip in back here like that it's got a different sort of intake, it's got the normal periscope intake or the extended intake, the AquaClear has got the same thing and then the pump, this is a major difference, the pump sits here inside the tank and it pushes water instead of, through the media instead of sucking it through and it falls back and it's a very silent high quality pump which is the CJ pump and it goes and it sucks, it pushes the water over so the pump is always in the water which makes it very silent and very of course very uh, very good in terms of power failures you know power outages it, the, 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 the media basket never runs dry okay so what do I like and about the Seachem Tidal well firstly I like the fact that the pump is very quiet I like the fact that it sits inside the tank because when the power goes off and we have power outages all the time around South Africa the water doesn't suck back into the tank, it, the water stays here in the basket so your media stays wet so it doesn't dry out and the beneficial bacteria doesn't die, it stays wet. Right, that's what I like about it and it's very quiet 
it's a very energy efficient it's only a five watt motor same as the aqua clear and you've got all this media that you can put in here and also it is very very easy to clean you've seen how i, how I clean the aqua clear same concept you lift the basket up but the aqua clear it doesn't have these sides so it is a little bit more messy than the seachem title but not by a lot but the gripe with a seachem title usually it's got a, a little flow indicator here there's a little blue button and i've dropped this lid and it fell out and it rolled away but this thing pops up every time it needs cleaning and the big complaint is this thing pops up all the time and i've also found that but i mostly ignore it i go by my own eyes now the thing with a, with a CCAM title is, once it starts clogging, and that happens quite quickly, you'll see, and I'm going to put it on the screen here for you, that the water diverts. It bypasses, some of the water bypasses the media, and then as you can see there, it flows over the back of the, the media basket. So you have a second waterfall coming over the back of a media basket and some of the media uh, and some of the water bypasses the media and that is what gets a lot of people hot under the collar they say that uh, the filter doesn't work a filter works some water bypasses the media the filter's function is to con convert ammonia and nitrite into nitrate there's also enough beneficial bacteria to do that and to pull solids out of the water so that your tank looks clean. Now, it does all of those things. When, the, when it gets clogged and the water starts bypassing the media basket, it doesn't stop working because the majority of the water still goes through the media basket. Yes, but it's not working very efficiently, you will say. Okay, but let me be devil's advocate here for a moment now. I'm going to leave that here. It's hard for me to do this, these videos when you're a klutz. If an aqua clear, it also clogs up and what happens when an aqua clear clogs up it's like any other filter in that sense the flow slows down what i find is when the tidal clogs up the flow never slows down the flow stays the same cause the more it clogs up the more water bypasses the filter basket here the more water it clogs up the less water comes through so you'll see that the water flow gets less and less and less and if it really really gets clogged up some will come out here same thing will happen with the uh, with a tidal more or less so when these filters get dirty this one puts out less water and the tidal puts out the same water and it bypasses so to me that's much of a muchness it's just very visually irritating to some people but it does it, it just handles it in different ways because the aqua clear when it's clogged it's going to pass less wa water it's going to take longer to pass the same amount of water through the filter Whereas when the sea chem clogs up, it's still going to pass the same amount of water, but less of that water is going to go through the actual media. But the water is still going to go circulate faster, so the water will eventually go through that media. And uh, so it's very much of a muchness to me. I can see where the sea chem tidal has clearly been designed to bypass that way, so as not to clog the flow. And if you, if you look at it, that's where they designed this inlet as well because you see here i put this with a piece of elastic band this little uh, piece of aquarium net over it so that i don't suck up any tiny fish but that was actually academic because look here here's a here's a grid here as well so clearly if this clogs up then the water pulls through here so you have water pulling through here through here and then you can also set it that it pulls through the surface schema i have it set that all the water comes from da from down here and not through the surface schema but that is the thing now with an aqua clear the inlet is much much simpler yeah and what you do here is you take a sponge a cylindrical sponge of all the center pre-filter you can order it on amazon you just put it over here and no fry or small things can get sucked up into it whereas to do it with a tidal that's going to be a lot harder you know you'll find a sponge you'll be able to practice uh, do something to put the sponge over here but then you're going to have to get some sort of hard plastic or silicon and glue this shut and you're going to have to glue the schema shut as well so i will say if you have tiny fish and i have small fish that breed in my tank and fry survive still with this sea chem title but if you're going to have a tank for fry i don't really know why you're going to have a hang on back filter then i would just go for a bubble up sponge filter or you're having nano fish like for instance tiny things like chili rasboras i would rather go for for this one i think that would be your better option then and 
both of them have flow control here at AquaClear you just do that and with the Seachem Tidal it's a little bit more sophisticated it's like that so the thing with the Seachem Tidal is I think it's a little bit over engineered and that's why people why it got such hype not only because people get sponsored by them, but it, 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 it is versatile. And I think for certain applications, it can be good. For instance, if you have a, if you have a planted tank with Aquaswell, Aquaswell sometimes makes a bit of film on top of the water, but you can have a water pull through here and it acts as a surface skimmer. You don't even have to get a surface skimmer as well. And um, I don't keep uh, seawater tanks at the moment. I used to in the past, that's way before we were titles. But some people that keep seawater tanks, marine tanks, saltwater tanks, say that this is quite handy also because you sometimes get that surface form on seawater too. But for me, I think this is a little bit over-engineered. I much prefer the way the AquaClear is. So what would I say? I think both have their pros and cons. The only uh, con that I actually have with the AquaClear, you know, is this. The fact that the motor sits on the outside of a tank. So with all hang on back filters, I don't have your water low down like that because if anything happens and the power stops, it completely back siphons, your media dries out. Um, you won't have it with a tidal, but that's a moot point because the tidal has an upstairs intake, so it can't really go down. So with all the hang on back filters, I recommend keep your water level high. If a power stops here, it does back siphon a bit. So your water level will drop. To about half if a basket doesn't stay full so if you keep your water levels high it shouldn't be a big problem but what i do find with the small versions of these hanging back filters with a powder on the outside the small ones for the nano tanks the smallest aqua clear and similar brands when the power goes off sometimes they start when the power comes back on and often they get a bubble in here and they won't start back up so I won't use any small hang on backs anymore that's got the motor on the outside. With this one, what I've experienced, um, it only happens if your water level is, is, is significantly lower than the filter. If you keep your water levels high, then usually it starts up. But over time, and I have to say that was more than a year, and the title we'll have to see it's only been running, it's not two years yet. Over time, the motor here, it's not the same quality so far that I can see from a CJ motor. They start rattling, and also what I found with this particular one I'm holding in my hands now, you know, in the power, uh, if, you, if you switch it on and off, it doesn't, it doesn't want to start the motor, even if it's full of water, and I have to take this out and I have to tap it with a screwdriver, and off it goes, and then it starts again. But the, 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 that's the only thing that I am not fond of about the AquaClear. If you could take the CJ motor from the Tidal, if you can take that motor and put it right here in the AquaClear manufacturers, if you are listening, I don't know why people never get it completely right. But take the CK, take this off, take the Seachem Tidal uh, motor and put it here, and then you would have, in my book, the ideal filter, because then it, it doesn't it doesn't do that bypass. The flow will become less as it clogs. So effectively you still have less if a filter is dirty you're going to have less and less efficiency now it can get past it by bypassing it or you can just have a flow become less and less but it's going to be the same whatever you do with it but all in all what i don't like about the tidal uh, it clogs very quickly and why does it clog so quickly and that uh, that is because it's got a good flow rate in fact it's quite efficient but the problem I think is here, if I take this out, you see it's got these slots in here and that's so that you can slot it on the, on the lid when you take it out. But there's only these slots and this is where the water comes in. As opposed to, if I can just pull this one out, as opposed to the AquaClear, you see it's got a, a, a sort of a mesh grid here as opposed to these uh, bigger holes. And I think that's the reason why the Seachem Tidal tends to clog up so quickly. So there is a bit of a design that needs to be rethinked by Seachem. You don't have to necessarily slot it into the lid, you can just hold it over the lid. Take this and put it here. Make this a mesh and then it's not going to clog so quickly. And then you won't have this bypass appearing every now and then. Because if you put very fine media in all filters, if I put 
if I top off my aqua clear with uh, with um, what do you call it with with uh, with if I top my aqua clear off with filter wool, it's also going to clog quickly. And sometimes when I've done maintenance in my tidal, I put in the sponge and the biomedia, and then I top that off with filter wool as well. And, and that I have to remove the next day because it's clogged like that, but I remove it, I throw it away. It's a mechanical media, I have a biomedia in the thing. <coughs> so all in all, the reason why when I started up hang on back on my 75, why I went to a Tidal, uh, not to AquaClear, is not only to try something new, and that's the other thing. Uh, it's not the filter's fault because it's been standing in the garage for a long time. But when I set it back up, I had a leak here where the motor is. There's an O-ring here, and the O-ring, of course, it was dry too long, and it perished, and it leaked here. And I just couldn't find another O-ring for this. If you know where to find the O-rings, please let me know in the comment section. I would appreciate it. But the O-ring is leaking. Now, that's because the filter's too dry for a long time. But that's another thing about why I think if you can just have a motor inside, it would just be so much better because then you don't have that potential for leaking. So the Tidal, it's more versatile, but I don't really like the intake. I think it's over-engineered. I love the fact that the pump is inside. I think it's a very quiet pump. It's a very efficient pump. I like that part of it. The build quality on the actual filter is quite good. And I, I, I do like the normal things that you like on a hang-on back filter. But that is the main thing that I like about the Tidal. It does require uh, more maintenance. But on the flip side, the maintenance is very easy. It's quick. It's like five minutes and you're done. So the maintenance part on the Tidals, they're very easy. But they require more and it clogs up a little bit too fast, in my opinion. As, as compared to the AquaClear. The fact that it bypasses is simply a design thing to keep the flow going. It's not going to suddenly give you ammonia or nitrites by God forbid. It's going to still work. It just works less efficiently, just like a clogged AquaClear will work less efficiently. But the, the regular cleaning and the, and the speed at which it clogs is a little bit irritating to me. But it's not something that's going to make me throw it in a dustbin and go and look for something else. Because, as I've said, you clean it quickly. So, all in all, I would say, if we did not have these blasted power outages all the time, I would have gone, I would have said, go for the AquaClear rather. But since we do, you know, that's why the Tidal, even though it has these irritating niggles, just makes me feel a little bit more comfortable um, leaving my fish there and that it will lost. I went overseas for four weeks and I couldn't leave a kid who was looking after to clean the titles. So all that I did then is I left the sponge and I took the biomedia out of a mesh bag because that you know, the mesh bag also serves sort of as a mechanical filter for trapping things and it clogs easily and I just left it like that and it was fine. I got back after four weeks. It had this little bypass overflow water over the top here but no nothing died. The water quality in the tank was fine. It just wasn't as efficient, but it kept on working and it kept on doing its job, which is to get rid of the ammonia and the nitrite and convert it to nitrate and keep the tank in a reasonable state of cleanliness. So in the end, if you have got these titles on your tank and uh, or if you have the AquaClears, if you still have AquaClears there working in your fish room, I wouldn't throw out my AquaClears and get titles and I wouldn't throw out my title now and go and get an AquaClear. I've said what I think, they both have pros and cons. If you can just take the AquaClear model, basically seat shape pump, move it into the, that sort of setup with the intake, I think one would have been golden. But all in all, that's what I think of him. There's pros and cons to both. And uh, if you found it useful, please give this video a thumbs up and also please consider subscribing. And uh, this is it now. I, a completely unsponsored video. I paid for both these products. I used them both for a long time. You know, when the channel blows up and I get inundated with equipment and 180 gallon tanks and overseas trips and all the latest stuff, then maybe I can't do these unsponsored videos anymore. So I've done this now. It's over. And until I see you guys again, keep on taking good care of those domestic denizens of the deep.